Greetings, high fans, and welcome to another video where I help you play Hive like a champion. This is a game played over at Board Game Arena. It was a turn-based game, part of a tournament, part of a Hive tournament, that was itself part of a bigger tournament, the 2023 World Cup of Abstract Games, where uh, they're sponsoring multiple abstract games over at Board Game Arena. Of course, I'm just a Hive specialist, so I don't play those other abstract games. I was playing against Joe Nutty, a player I hadn't played against before, and this was a very good learning opportunity in this game. I call it, no, don't do that. And let's see why. I open with the ladybug. I'm playing white. My opponent plays the pill bug. And of course, as always, I've replayed this game at boardspace.net, which is the best place on the web for replaying games and studying games. I play the queen, my opponent played the queen, and then we both followed with ants. And as always on my videos from this point forward, I'll be posting the shoe designation right over there. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. Of course, by black placing the bug, placing the ant in this spot, it does allow me to pin it with my ant, a true pin, and that takes away this good defensive spot from a black defensive bug. Black brings another ant in. I bring my mosquito. And black is playing an ant game here. It plays the mosquito. And so I'll go along with that as well. I play an ant also. So early on by turn 11, Four of the six ants and both mosquitoes are in play. He elects to pin my queen and I cap it off with the mosquito. Of course, we don't want that black ant to be used as a spawn point for any black beetles. Instead, he brings a black beetle adjacent to his queen and I pin it. Of course, there's nothing I can do to stop the mosquito from doing that climbing up atop the queen. Now my mosquito attacks. And notice this attack. What it does is it's threatening with beetle power to cover the queen or mosquito. So black's best move here would be probably to go ahead and cover the, the white mosquito at this point. But here is the no don't do it moment. He covers his own pill bug. Of course, there's six basic ways of qualifying for the win. Whenever there's a pill bug in play, you have to neutralize it before you can win the game. And the two most common ways of neutralizing your opponent's pill bug is covering the queen, so the pill bug can't warp the queen away, or covering the pill bug. So it can't warp the queen away or warp any attacking bugs away. <clears throat> Here, however, black covered his own pill bug. And that's not a problem if he doesn't stay there. I bring a beetle in, which I'm using that beetle for defense. So if the white, black mosquito moves forward, the white beetle will cover it. Of course, if the black mosquito goes to there, the white ladybug jumps out and leaves the black mosquito pinned. Black spider comes in. Spider is threatening to either take the kill shot or pin my beetle. And then I bring my pill bug in. Proximity pill bug, so it can defend the queen, but it's also in a good attacking position for this spot here. At this point, it is critical that black uncover the, the pill bug with the mosquito, but he doesn't. He elects to attack, and now notice my pill bug attacks. I could just as easily have warped my beetle into that point. And here is the lesson to be learned. If you cover your own pill bug, then the pill bug loses its power. So when I take the setup shot, with the pill bug, I have two ants that are available to take the kill shot. 
and there was nothing Black could do about it. So he goes ahead and takes a setup shot himself. And of course, I love the ladybug, so given the opportunity, I will always take the kill shot with the ladybug. So, the lesson to be learned here, if you cover your own pill bug, don't leave it covered. Or, better yet, just don't do it. As always, I'm here helping you play Hive Like a Champion. Two videos here. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and check the links down below if you haven't purchased my book, Play Hive Like a Champion, or Joe Schultz's excellent book as well, The Canon of Hive Groundwork. And of course, we're all waiting for his next book to come out. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing out.